How's it going YouTube? It's APOC and I'm back with another Lens Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to put an object all the way around someone's head. So for instance, like they're wearing a helmet and I grabbed this free helmet model from free3d.com, I think. Um, so it's not the best. The material wouldn't import, so I couldn't get the see-through visor. So you're going to have to bear with me on that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's really simple. What you want to start with is clicking this add new. We're actually going to hide this for a minute. So uh, also my webcam, uh, I have no clue where it went. So I just recorded this video on my phone. Um, you're definitely going to want to use something other than the presets because you have to be, have the person turning their head so you can see how it's tracking from the sides too. Um, because if you don't do that, then you're going to finish the whole lens. And when you put it onto your phone, you're going to turn your head and it's going to be like a whole head away from where you need it to be from the side. So it's best to have something like this or like your actual camera running if you can find yours. I don't know where mine went, but uh, yeah. So you want to do uh, add new and then go to face effects, head binding, and then drag in your 3D object into the head binding here, just like that and turn on your 3D object if you stable it. So now what you need to do is get your 3D object pretty close to the center of your head like that. And another thing, we're going to disable this for a second. Um, this face occluder, I don't know if it's, yeah, it still looks kind of bad. Usually what I do is move it back a little bit. So you might want to do that too, just a little bit. All right, and then this helmet is way too big on our head. So we're going to use the scale tool, shrink it down. Uh, that looks about right there and move this down a little bit and then bring it forwards. And yeah, as you can see, that's basically it. As I turn my head, it's covering everything. Now, if you had uh, something inside this, you want to make sure the occluder is a bit better. Um, it still is, it seems a little bit weird looking to me when I, I move my head up. That looks really good right there, actually. So yeah, that's really all you have to do is use the head binding, attach it into there, put it right over your head and scale it over top the head you see here. Uh, the face occluder um, basically hides any 3D stuff. So if I move this back behind the occluder, you can see that's like being hidden by it. So if it actually, if you're covering the whole head, you really don't need this unless there's like something inside, right? So if you could see through this visor, let me just show you actually. So I'm gonna go here and turn down the uh, Turn on the alpha maybe, no, blend mode is what I'm looking for. So you can see the whole thing here now, right? And uh, with the occluder enabled, you can see my face inside and you don't see the back of the helmet. Now, if I disable the occluder, you'll see the back of the helmet. It's really hard to see in this, it's a terrible example. But uh, yeah, so basically you, you would see the back of the helmet uh, without the face occluder and with it, you'll see my face instead of the back of the helmet. So. Yeah, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Really short, really simple. And if you have any questions, as always, reach out to me any way you can in the comments, probably the best way. And peace. Also, I made this for Dominic Garcia, I think. So shout out to him for the idea.